Mendel came up with two important principles. And you already know these principles. We've actually gone through it. It's super simple. But let's just brush up once. The first, the law of dominance. It states that only one factor, that is, the one out of the two factors that are present for each character, expresses itself in the F1 of the first generation. Today, we call this pair of factors as genes. A single factor is what we call the allele of the gene. So let me give you an example. If one parent has two copies of the allele B, which is the dominant allele, the second parent has two copies of the allele T, the recessive allele, the offspring is going to possess a TP genotype and exhibit the dominant phenotype, which is tall, right? Yes, I told you, you already know this, right? But this is what he summarized, so it's important to know. What is the conclusion here? The allele which is expressed physically in the offspring is the dominant allele. Next, the law of segregation. The law of segregation or the law of purity of gametes, as you know it, is simply this. You know that we have two distinct alleles for a gene, right? Each of them one on one copy of the respective chromosome. Keeping all of this in mind, this law simply states that the two alleles are going to be separated or segregated from each other during meiosis, specifically the gamete formation stage. And during the second division of meiosis, the two copies of a chromosome are going to separate from each other, making the individual alleles located on them to also get separated. Pretty obviously, right? So the essence is that the alleles do not mix. So the gamete is always pure for a character, although the zygote may or may not be so. To keep learning with such engaging videos, download Baiju's, the learning app today.